To look more closely at the benefits of diversification, let's think about what if you weren't diversified? What if you were gonna go the other way? This graphic, we sometimes call the patchwork quilt, each colored section represents an asset class. The first column we have is 2005, and the best performing asset class in 2005 is Emerging Markets Equity. It says here that that asset class performed 34.5%. So you're saying, this is a great idea. I'm going to watch in 2005. At the end of 2005, I'm going to put all of my investable assets in Emerging Market Equity, because it just did so great. And the next column, 2006, shows what happened. Your emerging market equity portfolio returned 32.6%. And you feel great. You feel really smart. This is working, except look right above emerging market equity. The Real Estate Investment Trust, REITs, they performed 35% that year. You switch your investable assets from emerging market equity to the REITs category. In 2007, what happens? Uh-oh, REITs are at the bottom, down 15.7%. And you look with regret at the emerging market equity you would have been in, it returned 39.8%. So you say at the end of 2007, I'm done with those REITs. I'm gonna put my money back in emerging market equity. And then we get to 2008 and look what happens. Down at the bottom, your emerging market equity lost 53.2%. And then you say, I'm gonna just get out of it all. I'm gonna put my money in cash. And look what happens in 2009. Emerging market equity, the thing you just dumped, up 79%. And what was the worst performing asset class that year? Cash. This is what happens when you follow an asset class that has been performing really well, and you say, oh, I'm gonna be part of that. I've missed out on some, but I'm gonna stay in it now. I'm gonna invest in that now. I'm gonna concentrate in that area. Forget diversification. I want what happened last year to happen to me right now. It didn't work for emerging market equities, and it won't work over time. You can't time the market. Smart investors choose diversification.